People say less is more. At Red Barn, we think less is better. It's what you won't find that sets our natural premium pet food apart. No byproducts, no corn or soy, no fillers. Just the natural ingredients your pets need to live the healthy life they deserve. Look at the label. We want you to. Red Barn Naturals Pet Food. Simply the best. Find it in your local pet specialty store. Visit redbarninc.com slash coupon to save a dollar off your first can. with Joyce White on the Survival Radio Christian Network. It is I, yes, Joyce White, your host, that's before you every Tuesday from 7.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, you know I always say that I have another great show in store for you because guess what? I do. I have another great show in store for you today. I am very, very excited about this week's God-inspired theme. It is taking ownership of your life. So if you are tuning in right now and you know someone that needs to take ownership of their life, I want you to invite them via text, social media, however you can reach out to them and tell them to tune in to Faith Walk with Joyce White because we are going to be enlightening you this evening with this amazing show. I am just so excited. Now, the actual scripture that I chose for tonight is Ecclesiastes 2.26. For God giveth to a man that is good in his sight wisdom and knowledge and joy. So write that scripture down and meditate on that because that falls into line with our God-inspired theme, taking ownership of your life. Woo, I'm just excited, excited, excited. I hope you are too. I hope everyone had a blessed Tuesday that you're now at home relaxing or if you're driving in your car listening, just keep your eyes on the road. I'll try not to, um, you know, say something off the wall to uh, make you veer to the right or to the left. But I'm just um, excited and glad to always be before you every week. I'm just here to en- empower people, educate people, and entertain people, and I sure hope that you are having that every time you tune in. All right. Now it's time for me to bring on my awesome, awesome, awesome associate producer, Dion Beverly, and she's going to share with us our SRN Biz of the Week. She's doing birthday shout-outs, and we also have a special wedding anniversary shout-out, too. So let us welcome yes. Dion to the show. Hey, Dion. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. All right. Okay. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. Well, it's your yeah. time to shine with our SRN Biz of the Week, our birthday shout outs, and that special anniversary shout out you have planned today. Yes. Okay. So, the SRN Biz of the Week. Join us April 30th, 2016. The Mena Vision Tour is bringing top speakers in leadership, community, and development to the Todd Galleria in Atlanta, Georgia. This powerful lineup of speakers, including Dr. George C. Fraser, Dr. Ruben West, and of course, the Men of Vision will educate, motivate, and uplift men and women of all ages and backgrounds to go out and create opportunity and change. If you have ever felt like you were lacking in vision or provision, if you ever felt like life was moving forward without you at the wheel, then this tour is for you. Registration is required to attend this event. Go to www.menofvisiontour.com for more details and registration. Be sure to let them know SRN sent you. And for our birthday shout out, I want to wish a happy birthday to Susan. 
Susan Kendrick Trow. We also have Sheree Vaughn the second. There's Kevin Bowell, Maya Kristen Smith, Leonard Smith, and also a very special happy birthday to William DeAnthony. Now, the celebrities that are also celebrating birthdays with these wonderful people on Facebook are actor Channing Tatum. We also have Kevin James. And guess what? Jet Li. Yes, the, the kung fu guru, as I call him. Jet Li is celebrating a birthday today. So we want to wish them a happy birthday as well. All right. Now, I want to wish a special wedding anniversary to Ron and Mary Huntley. Ladies and gentlemen, they are celebrating their 42nd year anniversary, wedding anniversary. And all I got to say is kudos, man, because I'm still waiting to celebrate my first year wedding anniversary. Well, wait a minute. I'm still waiting to find my husband that God is going to send me first. But yes, yes, congratulations to Ron and Mary Huntley on their 42nd wedding anniversary. All right. Well, um, I think Dion dropped off for a second, so I just filled in, but I think she's back now. Dion, are you back with us? Okay, maybe she's not. Okay, well, the next thing that I want to go ahead and share with everyone is a book promotion. It is an autobiographical testimonial book. If you want your life, you have to fight. The Brenda Saw Jesus Story. Modern-day prophetess who suffered the loss of both parents at a young age. It tells of her struggle to understand love and the great change that will take place through suffering and redemption. In her most defining moment, Christ reveals himself to her. You can get an autographed copy of her book by going to her website, Brenda sawjesus.blogspot.com. I'll say that again. Brenda sawjesus.blogspot.com. So head on over there today and get a copy of this wonderful testimonial book. Okay, now my next announce, announcement, if I can get this, the words together tonight, is about Woman on Fire Global Entrepreneurial Festival. It's coming to Atlanta on April 30th from 5 p.m. until 10 p.m., and it's going to be located at the Holiday Inn Atlanta Roswell, 909 Holcomb Bridge Road, Atlanta, Georgia. Now, the host and the person that created this awesome event that I am having the privilege of being nominated in the media category for is Allison Harvey. She's the host, and also Danella McWilliams Burnett. She is the host as well. They have a special guest speaker. Her name is Tracy Smith Randall. Now, the keynote speaker will be Renee Godfroy, and we also have speaker and author Mary Parker. So please run on over to www.womanonfire.ca forward slash Atlanta and get those tickets today because I want to see you all in this celebration that I am honored and pleasured to be a nominee in the media category. I'm trying to speak slow because when I talk about it, I get excited and I get full because of the blessing that God has bestowed upon me just for me just being on the, oh, thank you. <laughs> Being on the radio just to empower people, educate people, entertain the world, that, that is the vision that God has placed within me, and to be recognized for that, God gets all the glory. Now, my next special announcement is for a wonderful event that is entitled Mama's Rock. It's a 2016 event. Now, it is being put on by Ona Brown. Now, Ona Brown is a motivational mentor, and what she's doing is she's turning a, a family tragedy, 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 if I can say that correctly, into praise. Now, when Ona's mother suffered a massive stroke in 2015, 
She was challenged to practice what she encourages others to do, make lemonade out of lemons. Now, Ona, she's the daughter of international motivational speaker, Les Brown. She found herself struggling with the thought of losing her mom and the strength to press forward as the powerhouse inspiration that her mother raised her to be. Now, through the pain of watching this once vibrant woman fight through this unexpected illness, a deeper realization of how significant her mother was in her life illuminated in her spirit. So Ona wanted to do something to honor her. Thus, Mama's Rock was born out of an appreciation for all that mothers represent in our lives. The Mother's Rock platform is centered on paying homage to unsung mothers and celebrating the amazing, unmatched power of motherhood. The event will honor, edify, and acknowledge winners of the Mama's Rock Essay Contest, submitted by loved ones to acknowledge the amazing sheroes in their lives. This event promises to be a fun-filled, inspirational, heartfelt night full of laughter delivered by the comedic talent of Country Wayne. Now, he is a renowned comedian of, get, get this, ladies and gentlemen, clean words. That's the type of comedian that I would want to see. Amen. Now, Country Wayne is magical at lighting up the room with his lighthearted gift to bring joy to audiences around the country. This wonderful celebration is going to take place at 5 p.m. on Sunday, May the 1st, 2016, at Impact Church Event Center, located at 2323 Sylvan Road, East Point, Georgia, 30344. It is not too late, ladies and gentlemen. You can submit an essay and nominate that special mother figure. It could be your mother, grandmother, aunt, sister, etc., to be selected as one of the 2016 winners. Go to the Mama's Rock website at www.mamasrock.com. We spell mamas, M-O-M-A-S, right, rock.com. Remember now, you don't have to live in Atlanta to nominate someone. And also, if you want to donate a ticket for someone to attend the event in Atlanta, so say that person doesn't live here in the metro Atlanta area, you can log on to the website and donate a ticket for someone who does live here in the metro Atlanta area to attend this event. This is going to be amazing, ladies and gentlemen, so please support this this. this as my favorite word is, fantabulous event. Now, to sponsor and or purchase tickets for that special mother or mother to attend this fun-filled event, please go to, again, www.mamasrock.com. There's also vendor opportunities available as well. A portion of the proceeds will be donated to the Atlanta Missions Program for Women and Children, I love this wonderful missions program. I have donated it, donated to it in the past. So, ladies and gentlemen, please go to www.atlantamission.org and donate now to this worthy mission. Please, please, I, I just can't tell you enough to the wonderful things that the Atlanta Mission does for women and children. Now, Ona Brown is the visionary, and she's the CEO of World Impact Now. It's a personal and professional training and coaching company. She is referred to as the message midwife, impacting lives in the U.S. and abroad. So if you want to find out more information about Ona Brown, go to her website, www.onabrown.com, or www.coachonabrown.com. And for more information about this wonderful church where the event is being held, Impact Church, visit 
impactdcd.org. Amen, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you what, please, please, I can't say this enough, please support this wonderful event. It's honoring mothers, and we know Mother's Day is coming up May 8th. Um, Unfortunately, my mom is in heaven, and I'll be paying homage to her all over social media on Mother's Day as well. But please, if your mother is still alive, please nominate her for this wonderful, wonderful uh, event. Who knows? She may be the winner. So please, please go ahead and nominate someone today. Amen. Amen. Wow. I am so excited, excited, excited. Woo! (laughs) Now, speaking of tribute. I want to pay tribute to Prince. Yes, we know that Prince passed away last Thursday. And if you've been following social media, if you've been following television programs, anything on the media, everyone is paying homage to Prince. And I am a Prince fan. And um, I just want to share with you um, a story um, about Prince. But first, I want to play my favorite song, which is Purple Rain. Thank you. 
I love you, Prince, and I'm going to miss you terribly. He is the reason why um, I love the color purple so much, so much that, in fact, one time when I was a teenager, I approached my mom and I said, Mom, can I color my hair, hair purple? And, of course, she said, no, you crazy. You ain't calling it purple. So what she did was she allowed me to make my room purple. So my bedroom, when I used to live um, in Decatur, Georgia, was made up in purple, you know, the sheets, the, the curtains, everything. But I, I am truly um, full right now, but I am so glad that I was able to pay that tribute to Prince. And the reason why I chose that song, Purple Rain, is because when that movie came out, I was living in Colorado, and my daughter had just been born uh, October the 12th of 84. And when his movie came out later on in that year, she was there with me as a baby watching that movie with me. And there was no way I was going to miss that movie, so I took her with me. And I just shared with her a couple of days ago that that was my experience that I had with Prince. I unfortunately never got a chance to attend any of his concerts. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sad that I didn't, but at least I was able to see the movie Purple Rain and with my daughter in tow. And she did ask me, she said, Mom, was I a good movie baby? I was like, yeah, you didn't cry at all. We were able to watch the whole, whole movie. I didn't have to leave the theater. So I just wanted to share that with everyone. And if anyone's just tuning in, you are listening to Faith Walk with Joyce White on the Survival Radio Christian Network. We were just p- paying tribute to the one and only phenomenal, I call him Purple Majesty Prince. Wow. Now, I just want to share with everyone advertising and sponsorship opportunities with Faith Walk with Joyce White. Yes, on the Survival Radio Christian Network. I have packages that you can promote your business, product, or service on um, a network that has over 1 million downloads and reaches people worldwide. So for more information, don't be shy. Hit me up at joywhite35 at yahoo.com, and I can construct a package that will fit any person's budget. Very affordable. So please, please reach out to me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, guess what? It's time for... Faith in the Workplace segment with Miss Phyllis Wallace. She is continuing the theme for April, which is Get In Formation. Remember, the anchor verse is John 14, and the verse is um, 26. And this is the last message of her series. And guess what the title is tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Three tips to help one another when doves cry in the workplace. So without further ado, let us welcome Miss Phyllis Wallace to the show. Woo-hoo! Hey, Miss Phyllis, how are you? Hey, Joyce, I'm great. Um, I'm a huge, huge Prince fan, and um, anybody who knows me, my formative years in high school can prove it. I owned a purple lace dress, as <laughs> well as um, me and my crew, we were mistaken for the entourage. I had the uh, honor of attending several concerts, and uh, we even performed uh, Glamorous Life in a Mr. Bitten Harbor contest. <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, because I was going to ask you to share a moment that you, you know, <laughs> had shared or, or, you know, with Prince, just like I shared my moment with my daughter taking her to the movie theater. Well, so thank you for sharing that. Well, yeah, well, um, so your your lead-in, as I was listening to the show, as, as always, thank you. I'm humbled to be on the show as usual, but it is very, um, it touched me. Um, Michael Jackson was the first person to, to transition in, my, in our generation, I think, that really stopped us. But this one, because it was just, we never heard um, Prince was sick or anything. So um, I really had a hard day, but you know what? His legacy lives on. And he inspired so much. And with this tonight, um, I have a couple things to share. And the anchor verse tonight comes from Matthew ten sixteen, New King James Version. And it says, and this was Jesus saying to some of his disciples or followers, Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore, be wise as serpents and innocent as doves or harmless as doves. So, once again, Matthew ten sixteen. Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore, be wise as serpents and innocent as, and harmless as doves. Um, the thing is that you know when doves cry, 
Prince was a very deep person, and, and this goes right along with the song. Did you know a lot of things are coming out that many of his concerts in his later years were covers because he was doing some community things behind the scene, correct? Yep. That's he was right. getting people together. I mean, I think uh, one of the former government officials. I mean, if you saw his interview on CNN. So if we break down that scripture, I'm going to give you the tips. And Prince, he Prince the man, and then Prince the musician. He illuminated it, and now you know even so much. I was like, oh, that's why he touched so many diverse people, right? So once again, right. it says the sheep amongst wolves. We have to recognize that when we're out in this world. There are people that are trying to harm us because of who we are in Christ, right? They're just people trying Amen. to harm us. Amen. Amen. So one tip from that is we're sheep among wolves. And, you know, sheep, you've heard, heard it from a lot of different ministers, sheep have no defense mechanism. we just like, mm, we just walk around. And God refers us as sheep a lot in the Bible. So one of the key things when doves cry in the workplace, we have to recognize our circumstances. Doves. What they are are in the Bible, they symbolize simplicity, purity, and innocence. However, this verse tells us, okay, that's what a dove does, right? But this verse mm-hmm. says, look, you gotta, you're, you're sheep among wolves. And then it tells us, therefore, so as if, be as wise as serpents. Point number two, wise as serpents. So many people forget it. The ugly one, the evil one, was once an angel. The evil one is a fallen angel. The evil one led the praise team in heaven. The evil one tried to speak scripture to Jesus. Go to Matthew 4, when the Holy Spirit led Jesus up on the mountain to be tempted of the devil. So the thing is that if the evil one is trying to trick Jesus, the creator of all things, what does he try to do to us? The evil one knows more scripture to us, but you know what we have? We have the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, I will not leave you as orphans. I will send you another, a comforter. And the Holy Spirit teaches you. We just have to listen. So once again, being wise as serpents, we're actually wiser than serpents when we follow the Holy Spirit. Because that's what Jesus left us, the Holy Spirit. And the third piece, Amen. be harmless as doves. You know, doves, you uh-uh. see them, they're beautiful, they're white, right? And we talk oh, about yeah. pure simplicity, innocence, but not innocence. Innocent meaning that you don't do the dirty deeds. Yes, just like your brothers and sisters, let's go home again, right? Mama mm-hmm. never saw the first lick. She always see the second lick, right? Yep. Okay, right? It's, it's like, well, he did, because guess what? He or she was slick. They're like, oh, Mama, they, they only saw that piece. Well, that's how it is with wolves, too, right? A lot of times right. you're the workplace spiritual wolves, and you're just reacting to something somebody did to you was really was shady, correct? So the thing yep. is that we have to be innocent. So the thing is that if you do something and, and you did it, then, I mean, God can't help you there. So the thing is we have to be smarter. We have to have a strategy. We have to have a pure heart and clean hands. I'm not saying get beat down. I never said that. But the thing is that we have to be innocent, and then we have to stand on that truth. So once again tonight, as we honor and we raise up Prince, not above our God, but we raise up the musician that taught us so much. He wrote the song, When Doves Cry. Doves, very symbolic in the Bible of simplicity, purity, innocence. When Jesus came up and was baptized by John the Baptist, the dove came down and God said, this is my son who I am well pleased. Amen. The dove represents the Holy Spirit. So the thing is that when doves cry, when doves, you hear that the Holy Spirit can groan, you can grieve it, but you can quench it. But the thing is that go back to that verse. Jesus said this, not me, not Paul, Jesus. Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. We have to be wise, but we have to be innocent. You cannot be wise because then you're playing on the devil's field. You can't beat the devil. God can beat the devil. We can, Actually, God has already done it. you got to stand in victory, not in defeat. And that's the Faith in the Workplace Minute tonight. Amen. Woo, that's right, people. Did you hear what she just said? That 
God can fight our battles. Why are we always trying to fight our battles? I never could understand that, Miss Phyllis, why we're always trying to say, oh, I gave it to God, but then we pull it back. And he's like, I got this, God, I got this. And he's just shaking his head saying, okay. <laughs> well, you know what, we're always, because that's very human. Think about the Garden of Eden. Perfection. You got the perfect fine Adam, the perfect super fine Eve, and she listened to some type of animal. Did God say? God didn't tell her anything. He told Adam. They were in perfection. That's what we had to If they were in a perfect place, right, and they right. mess up, now we live away, okay, they eventually got kicked out. What's happening to us? That's why we have to listen to the Holy Spirit. We have no choice because we will lose the battle. But we always win the war. But you know what? We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. So salvation isn't in jeopardy, but your testimony is. And when you're on this earth, on this side of heaven, then it's going to be hard for you to have the impact that God intended you to if your testimony keeps getting jacked up. And that's a technical phrase for tonight <laughs> in the face of the workplace <laughs> I minute. I love it. I love it. I love it. Wow. Now, before I let you go, do you have any um, shout outs that you want to share with the listeners? Well, I just want to um, I want to give a shout out to my um, Benton Harbor High School crew who, if people, and that is to Starburn, Audrey, Sylvia, Peoples, um, Kim. Um, I just, when we brought up Prince, we were in every play and musical <laughs> known to earth. And um, uh, Carlos, and it was just such a fun time. And we just reminisced. And I just want to thank, I had a wonderful teenage years with these friends. And we saw Purple Rain we could recite every line in the movie. <laughs> and people listening to this that know me, they're like, that's true. So I want to give a shout out <laughs> to my friends because we were purple crazy. And yes, we were mistaken for the entourage. Hey, okay. I would die for right. you, signing off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So um, next month is May. So we'll have a, a you know, a brand new uh, theme going on. Brand new month, brand new theme. Just, Good things happening uh, with the faith in the workplace segment. <laughs> yes, we will, and I'm I'm praying on it. I mean, a lot of the things I want to make sure that I pray first and see where God reveals. But you know, there's been so many, um, gosh, so many people we lost this year. They're just amazing. I mean, uh, was uh, was it Whitney Houston was last year or this year? That was last year. No, it's been it's, it's been more than a more than a couple of years. She's been gone. And then her daughter, I mean, it just seems... And then we lost her daughter, years. yeah. And then, yeah, Robin Williams. I mean, there's just so many, and I'm like, okay, what's happening? Oh, my birthday, shout out. My birthday's Friday. So, you know. Really? <laughs> yes. Okay, well, are we starting the party now? Because, you know, um, we're the party, to party now. the whole week long. We got, you know, the whole month. Actually, I should have been partying the whole month. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I like Prince. If people want to send me the CD of Purple Rain, because I only had albums, I'm I'm late, but I go on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same way though. Trust me, I don't I don't have Purple Rain on DVD or anything. So yeah, so if anybody wants to send out two copies, one to Miss Phyllis and one to me, <laughs> we'd appreciate it because we're diehard Prince fans. <laughs> Yes, I mean, and, and like, thank you for giving the opportunity to shout out. It's just been an amazing year, and God's always amazing. And just, you know, to remember for all of us, we really, when, when it happened to Prince, you need to enjoy the journey. And, and this, I do want to leave something really quickly, if I have a, just a quick minute. Uh-huh. You know, we need to fall in love with life as a process and not the outcomes. Because so many times, especially myself, you know, what you do is you say, if I do A, B, and C, D, and E, it's going to happen. That's not true. The thing is that now it's supposed to, but you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. But if you fall in love with the process and you fall in love that you are working as unto God, and it's from a, a book, I think it's a Max Laquado has a great quote, we're really playing for an audience of one. You're playing to see Jesus stand up and say, well done, my good, and fa- my good servant. That's what you're looking for. And so many times we're like, well, I didn't get this, but did you honor God to the best of your ability? I promise you, you will. It will come back. It, God always rewards obedience. And I think some people think these people are getting over. No, they're not. They're not. You watch. If you keep with Jesus, you watch. Good things eventually will happen. Amen. Amen. Well, as always, thank you very much. I just love this 
faith in the workplace um, a message that you shared with us, the three tips to help one another when doves cry in the workplace. And as always, what? We'll see you back here again next week. <laughs> see you, May. Thank you. God bless. Amen. God bless you, too. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just just so excited. But, you know, as I always say, the show must go on. So now I'm going to play a song that's entitled Shaking It Off by Nathaniel Ware. So enjoy. You're listening to Faith Walk with Joyce White on the Survival Radio Christian Network. Check this out, you to be yours, cause I'ma get the flow I'ma hit you with the rhyme that's good to go As I talk about the things that bring you down You know the things that make you frown Talk about trials and also tribulations So you trust in God, he brings you to that situation So when the problems try to bring you down You use the word of God and stand for your ground and April 30th, 2016. The Men of Vision Tour is bringing top speakers in leadership, community, and development to the Cobb Galleria in Atlanta, Georgia. This powerful lineup of speakers, including Dr. George C. Frazier, Dr. Reuben West, and of course, the Men of Vision will educate, motivate, and uplift men and women of all ages and backgrounds to go out and create opportunity and change. If you have ever felt like you were lacking in vision or provision, If you have ever felt like life was moving forward without you at the wheel, then this tour is for you. Registration is required to attend this event. Go to www.menofvisiontour.com for more details and registration. Looking for a cafe with a home-like appeal where all who enter feel like they are part of something? Visit My Coffee Shop, located in East Lake, Atlanta, Georgia. MCS has a full breakfast and lunch menu, offering both hot and cold options, and is home of the amazing basil lemonade. But don't forget their assortment of freshly brewed coffees. Come on by at 2462 Memorial Drive, Atlanta, Georgia, 30317. We're pretty sure my coffee shop at East Lake will become your coffee shop, too. It's the book everybody's talking about. This has been a public service announcement by acclaimed author Gay Polk Payton based on the Latin term res ipsa loquitur, which means the thing speaks for itself, or more commonly known, it is what it is. This book speaks to relationships, fitness, parenting, religion, and more. Get your copy today by going to www.gaypulkpayton.com. This has been a public service announcement. S 
SRN Survival Radio Network. Well, welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. You are listening to Faith Walk with Joyce White on the Survival Radio Christian Network. Now, again, the song that you were just listening to was Shaking It Off by Nathaniel Ware. So I sure hope you enjoyed that song because I was over here, you know, doing a little bit of dance moves while I'm sitting here in my chair. (laughs) But again, if you ever have a question or comment, do not be shy. Just dial 347-237-4648. The reason why I mention that is my next guest is Isaac Whitaker. And he is of Charging Station Group Incorporated. And I am so excited to have him on the show this evening. So without further ado, let us welcome Isaac Whitaker to the show. Good evening. Isaac, how are you? Hey, good evening. How are you, Joyce? It's good to to be here with you. Hey, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. (laughs) Awesome. I'm just excited to have you here with us as well because – I'm, I'm just, I just want you to share with everyone that's listening everything that the Charging Station Group Incorporated does, because it's a long list. So I just wanted you to um, briefly share each one and then give us a, a brief synopsis of what each um, well, thing that you do well, within your group. Hey, hey, okay. So everything uh, is under the umbrella of uh, Charging Station Group Incorporated. We've got, of course, Charging Station Ministries. We have an association. We also have Charging Station Radio. Uh, We have an outreach with this ministry uh, that is established the way that it is. It is a working organism. I don't really consider it an organization, but we consider it a living organism that is helping our community, reaching out, uh, providing resources, free resources, uh, the list goes on and on in regards to what Charging Station Group is, uh, what it's birth for. Um, I don't think we really have enough time to really go through it all, but I'll be brief on all the, of the topics. Uh, right now, we just uh, begin our process of Hydrate the Homeless. Hydrate the Homeless is our outreach where we go and we um, – enter into a new city like we are here in Atlanta. I do want to uh, just give a shout out to all of those that are in the ATL. We just do thank God for each and every one of you. We thank you for accepting Hydrate the Homeless so that we can come in and be effective in your city. We can give back to those that are in need and also fellowship with you and uh, make a connection with the city. So we thank God for Uh, Hydrate the Homeless, but Hydrate the Homeless is a outreach that we have started out in Houston, Texas, where we uh, collect uh, bottles of water. Individuals donate those bottles of water from communities, um, you know, coffee shops, whatever it is, businesses uh, throughout the community, donate it into Hydrate the Homeless. We uh, gather volunteers there in the local city. Those volunteers in the local city are the ones who go out on the day of the hydrate where we distribute those bottles of water, making a connection with those people that are homeless. We have people that are doing surveys in regards to what it is that those individuals out there need. Uh, so it's, it's a great opportunity to always work in a new city and work with new people, new coordinators, new uh, individuals. I, I'm just excited about uh, hydrate the Homeless Atlanta this year, 2016. Um, to go on, we do have uh, sort, sort of businesses that we do because uh, Charging Station Ministries is not a church, your local church that sits on the corner. It is, again, a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week, 365-day-a-year uh, working ministry that is called to assist you. This is an assist ministry uh, down to uh, Infamous Designs. Infamous Designs is our media store where people can come and sell their product, you know, somewhat like a Craigslist or Amazon or 
or all of those other different platforms. So we do have infamous designs, which is uh, which we we don't take anything from what it is that's sold, except the merchandise that we uh, sell over that platform. We also have Elite Coast Care Services, which is our health care, because we want to be a holistic ministry. The whole purpose is is not just to be concerned about the spiritual nature of the man, but to be concerned about his physical nature as well, mental health and all of that. So with Elite Coast Care Services, it gives us the mechanism so that we can touch the lives of individuals who are sick, shut in, those that need uh, prayer, those that need uh, chapels, those that need counsel, those that need anything of that nature that is in regards to your well-being. And uh, God has truly blessed us with Elite Coast Care Services. But Joyce, you know, I can go on and on about that, but uh, I, I'm ready to just dig into what it is that we're going to be talking about tonight in regards to ownership and those different things. Because, you know, even with all the business that we just uh, talked about, that's not the ownership. That's the, you know, that, that right there is just the blessings of the Lord by us being faithful with the small things that, that uh, he has blessed us with. And now he has given us room to be able to bless others. Amen. 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 Yeah, I just wanted to give you that window of opportunity to go ahead and, you know, tell the listeners um, all about the uh, Charging Station Group Incorporated. But you're right. Um, Tonight's theme is taking ownership of your life. And if there's um, a a positive, uplifting message that you'd like to share uh, with the listeners concerning that, I've already um, shared with them the uh, scripture that – I put with this uh, God-inspired theme, which was Ecclesiastes 2.26, for God giveth to a man that is good in his sight, wisdom, knowledge, and joy. So go ahead. <laughs> Amen. That, that, that's, that's a great scripture. Uh, because wisdom uh, is a principal thing. Wisdom is, is needed in regards to, to alter the the constants of making the same mistake we we think but then we need knowledge and i do believe that this expression of joy is really getting to a point where we where we get this ownership where we truly get it it's that place where it says get wisdom get knowledge but out of all of that getting get an understanding and that joy is a representation of an understanding of kind of like chuckling after you to made you to bump your head a couple of times and he's just like if i would have knew this i could have prevented that and it was so embarrassing or probably so so uh mediocre uh, till you sort of chuckled in joy that now you have the understanding of it and now you can protect yourself. And, and that uh, collaborates. That is all inside of ownership. And I thank God for that because in it, um, it takes the weight off me being the owner of uh, the overseer or the apostle or whatever uh, position that I'm holding. It, it, it takes ownership off of that and put the ownership back into the responsibility of who should be responsible for ownership. Amen. I know you know where I'm going. (laughs) You know where I'm going. The ownership belongs to God. And as long as I keep that ownership in his hands, as long as I keep it in his vision and his purpose and in his will, then I've taken the, you know, it's just my yokes are easy. My burdens are light. I don't have the issues and quarrels because he's the owner. He is the responsible party. I would like to, I would like to add that let us begin to take and allow Jesus Christ to be and God to although they are the same but let's allow them to be who they say they are the owners of our lives though they the wisdom the knowledge and the understanding of that I ha, I can come to rest in regards to the hard labor that we put into the ownership of our salvation you know, it's almost like our businesses because having a business, running a business, especially startup, you are going to be putting in hours and hours of time. You're going to be putting piles and piles of promotion. You're going to be pounding advertisement and all of these things. But then when the ownership of God kicks in, now I can come to rest 
in regards to that ownership. This is on in my life because I've I've accepted giving ownership back to who created me, and that's God. I think that's the greatest challenge that we have. And then every other step that we take in business and life and relationships and all of those different areas, journalists, whatever it is, we can apply that same thing. It would be the, the yoke would be easy. You know, Lord, how much pressure it is that I would have to be your knight in shining armor. <laughs> amen, amen. That's what I'm talking you know, about. <laughs> I have, that's a, that's a lot of pressure. But Jesus, he's he's the he's more than that. He is he is our King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the way maker. So that's the ownership that I wanted to talk about tonight. I wanted to to ring that out. Of course, we we get ready to do the hydrate the homeless, and in that we take ownership. You know, we need volunteers that's going to take a responsibility. That was the Amen. word that I was that was the word that I was wanting to use in regards to God and Jesus, the Father and the Son. Let's let them give back their reputation. Let them have their reputation back. Amen. Let's let Amen. Them, let's, let's, let's let them own their reputation instead of us always getting frustrated when we lose a loved one or when we lose a job or when we lose a husband, when we lose a son or when we lose a daughter or when we lose you know something. Every time we we lose something, we seem to strip the 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 the, the requirement or or God's responsibility of owning whatever it is that He has started in my life. He said He started a good work. I can't just read what the, the passage of scripture that you read and throw away the rest of the Bible. I've got to receive that other word. Amen. And yeah, a lot of people do that. They do pick out the parts that they want from the Bible, and then the rest just sits there. Be like, oh, yeah, I know that's there, but I'm just going to harp on this this particular part of the scripture, and that's sad. Yeah, yeah, because, because that's an employee. They've got a position to take in, in this ownership because there, this ownership, there is this facility. There is this, this uh, uh, work environment. And then now you have this employee who wants to take a piece of something. I want to take this part. Give me this department. And this department is women's ministry. This department is men's ministry. This department is fashion. This department is this. And all we want to do is find a, a, a barrage of scripture that reverence to those things that I'm working in regards to or what I'm accustomed to instead of owning what he gave us, the whole word. The finished word, Amen. the complete word. Come on, somebody. Amen. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm about to say, wow. <laughs> oh, I want to. I want to own it. I want to own it. I want to own it from Genesis to Revelation. My walk with the Lord. My walk with the Lord has has brought. I read scripture. You know, I'm I'm kind of a well. I'm not kind of. I'm a pew baby. I'm sure you read the bio raised in the halls of holiness and all of that good stuff, you know. So I, I, I was there. I got to hear the word, not even hear the word, but I was pressed to read the word. But in it, it was somebody else's story. I had no ownership in it. I had no, I had no uh, uh, responsibility of owning the word. But listen, when, 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 when God began to reveal my life in those scriptures, then I began to take ownership. That, hey, I, I've gone through some things Adam's gone through. I've gone through some things that Samuel's gone through. There's a time in my life where I've had a Moses moment. There's, there's a time in my life when I've been, you know, in the wilderness like, like Abraham. There's a time when, when there's some Jesus moments, when, when I'm, I'm in, on a fast, and here it is, the, the devil want to press me. Come on, somebody. Yeah, speaking of which, speaking of which, I'm currently in a Job moment. This whole 2016, <laughs> I've been in a Job moment. So I know exactly what you're talking about because I got some testimonies that I'm not sharing yet until the time is right. But um, I'm a, that's why I'm, I'm always telling people um, I'm available for you know speaking engagements and things like that because all of these testimonies that's burning inside of me, God is preparing me and telling me. And when he says it's time for me to take those testimonies and share them with particular people, then I'm going to do it. So right now I'm sitting on, on hold until God releases me to um, release my testimony because yes. I, yes. I have a book well, inside today, of me of everything well, that today, I today, today he said own it. 
Take take That's ownership. Right. You you you've been in partnership for too long. You it's time for you to own it. It's time to take ownership of your life. It's time to give it back to the man who created it. Give it back to the listen. If your VCR break down and it's a JVC or whatever it is, you know, a Sony. Where do you send it? You send it back to Sony. When a man break down, what's you just send it? Send it back to the owner. Send it back to the manufacturer who created it, and it can tell you how to fix it. Amen. Amen. Well, on that note, since um, I never know where the time goes, and it always goes quickly within this wonderful hour that God has um, allowed me to, you know, get on here and, and motivate people and empower people, go ahead and share with people how they can keep up with you on social media and also um, where they can go to, to participate in Hydrate the Homeless uh, event that's going to be happening here uh Saturday, August the 13th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Amen. Amen. We're excited about Hydrate the Homeless. It's about time for us to get into that season. But uh, I, I'm going to do it real quick, but it's it's kind of like a story. It is a place of com- of completeness, completion. It is a place of ownership because when God first uh, began to work the ministry through me, we started with Charging Station Association. And you can find that, you can find that group. There's over 3,000 members that's there operating. It's always post about Jesus Christ. It's always talking good stuff and motivating inspirational words. Uh, we truly keep that place holy. So join us there. That's Facebook.com slash, I believe it's Charge Spiritually. Or, or spiritually charged. So just try one of those, and it'll get you right to it. And then we also have the homepage uh, charging station that is uh, charging station spiritually, charging station uh, spiritually, uh, spiritually charged. Amen. Then we have our uh, Elite Coast Care ser- Services page. You can find that at, also on Facebook, all of our uh uh, platforms and resources, we try to work them to be as free as possible. So by that, Facebook is a platform that, you know, the majority of the time you don't have to pay anything, but they're, uh, so anything that is new, we try to, uh, and free, we try to utilize those resources to push the ministry because this is a nonprofit. This is a, a, a ministry, like I said, it's not a church, so we're not receiving, receiving tithings and offerings of that nature, but we are taking donations and things like that. You can also, you know, send uh, a donation for the Hydrate the Homeless to PayPal, that's Hydrate outreach at gmail.com you can send us a donation to charging station ministry that's take charge spiritually at gmail.com and we just truly thank god for those platforms but we didn't really get to touch on the radio station because the radio station is after all of these pieces has fallen into place it's where god has taught me ownership it is where he is teaching me how let me stop you there let me yeah, but let me stop you there. We're going to have to bring you back on the show so that you can go into detail about the radio station. So um, I just want to thank you very quickly for being a guest on the show. Yeah. And exactly, we're going to invite you back, I promise. And um, thank you, George. as always, I like to, t- oh, you're welcome. I like to tell my guests to have a blessed, powerful, and productive week. And I'll be in touch with you to bring you back on the show so that you can go into detail about the charging station radio. All right? <laughs> Amen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, that was Isaac Whitaker of Charging Station Group Incorporated. Now, I just want to let everyone know that the Faith Walk with Joyce White show is rebroadcast on two different networks. It's on www.blazeoneradio.com. Shout out to Gordon Mills for making that happen. And I actually have my own show uh, page. So if you go on the blazeradio.com website, all you have to do is look for the shows page, click on it, and you'll see my show there. So if you missed any portion of the show today, you can listen to it there. I'm also on positivepower21.org. Shout out to Jerry Royce Live for making that happen. And you can go to www.spreaker.com forward slash user forward slash Positive Power 21 to listen again to the rebroadcast of Faith Walk with Joyce White. I want to let you know that my show is ending, but this is not the end of shows being broadcast on the Survival Radio Christian Network. 
Coming up next is A Message of Hope with my good friend, Christina Lockett, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And again, I want to thank everyone for tuning in. I want to thank my guest, Isaac Whitaker. I want to thank Ms. Phyllis Wallace for the wonderful things that she shared with us tonight about the three tips to help one another when doves cry in the workplace. I thank my listeners, my supporters. I just ask that you continue to uh, follow me, follow the show. And as always, I love to say, live simply, love generously, care deeply, speak kindly, and leave the rest to God. You all have a blessed, powerful, and productive week, and please be back here again next week. I love you. Good night. In my time zone with my mind's gone and I'm flying home and I'm stressed out and I'm tempted to get that cell phone and go pull it up but you know what's up and you know that ain't gonna solve nothing I mean Lord forbid I might fall or something and I'm all another cause all I need is you to hold me down like bitch strapped to the psych ward it's killing me but you still with me when I fight hard and you digging me when I'm eating you deal with me when my car's pulled could've dealt with me but you fell for me for I fell for you keep me on that right path and the right math is you plus nothing's everything you my everything thing you ain't got to question my allegiance Cause the way you love me, I can never leave I need you, I need you. By my side, taking pain Highs and lows, don't let go We gon' ride, we gon' win Don't know how, all I know You, all I ever needed You, all I ever needed You, all I ever needed How did I fall in this? No condition that get a mention, but you all. I like things easy peasy. So when I need a few things, I go to Walgreens. Because schlepping my way through the grocery store when all I want is milk isn't my idea of a good time. Good thing Walgreens is just around the corner so I can pop in for essentials like milk, paper towels, and toothpaste. Easiest errand ever. Walgreens, at the corner of Happy and Healthy. Now with cards, bounty paper towels are $1.99, and nice brand eggs are $1.49. Prices may vary.